hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, simple doily it's very easy and simple to make and uh, yes uh, it's a little bit different because we have made these extra little bit different uh, uh, rounds or stitches like that um, I have made two of them uh, in cr contrasting colors the yarn I used is this one it's Egyptian cotton yarn it's a Danish brand and into this 50 gram of the yarn there is 75 meters of the yarn 75 meters of the yarn into 50 gram of the yarn it's cotton yarn and uh, i used two colors and uh, you are going to need approximately if you are going to use the basic color you are going to need maybe 75 to 80 gram of this yarn or you can say give and take approximately 100 gram of the main color and the other color maybe 10 or 20 gram of the uh, other uh, color it's very easy and simple to make and uh, the diameter of this <coughs> dial is approximately 16 and a half inches Sixteen and a half inches or approximately 16 inches um, this is it I used four millimeter crochet hook there are some things if you want to make it bigger just remember that we are going to make increasing rounds here and then what we are going to do when we start this pattern we are going to need multiple of 10 stitches here from here to here into this section these are the sections we are going to repeat we are going to need 10 stitches here so make as many as stitches or as many as increasing you, you increasings you want if you want to make it a little bit bigger or smaller just make sure that when you are done with the last increasing round you should have any stitches that can be divided by uh, 10 that's it there is no other complications or anything like that it's very simple and easy to make and uh, i hope you guys will enjoy this video there are some trouble i had some trouble with this yarn and there is just one thing that i wanted to clarify here into the last round i will i will clarify it in the video also but there is just one thing that i had in my mind that maybe i made something um, it was a little bit confusing but just remember that from this stitch to the top of this uh, that from this after this puff stitch you should have 10 uh, st uh, slip stitches until here and then the, there is this top stitch and then 10 st slip stitches from here to here this is the one thing that I wanted to just clarify um, in simple um, what you call it words there are 10 slip stitches and then this uh, puff stitch then there are 10 slip stitches and then there is this chain 3 uh, stitch uh, the top stitch this is it uh, hopefully it will be easy for you guys to follow thank you so much uh, for watching my videos and um, let's get started the central point or starting point of our dial is this one here in you can start this by two ways in two ways you can either make magic ring or you can start with making chain four in this one i started with the magic ring this is why it has more finishing and neat look there is almost no hole in the center but in this one i am going to start with making chain four for that first of all we are going to make a slip knot and then I will make chain four one two three and four 
slip stitch into the first ring to form a ring and there we have this tiny ring all of our stitches we are going to make in this ring chain 3 1 2 3 this starting chain 3 counts as your first double crochet in all of the rounds if starting chain 3 does not count as your first double crochet i will state that now one double crochet already made in the form of chain 3 we are going to make 14 more double crochets into this ring one two three four five six seven eight I will count the stitches once more so that there is no mistake 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 I will count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and I made an extra so I'm going to ravel that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Yeah, I have made 15 double crochets including our starting chain 3 I am going to slip stitch into 3rd starting chain make chain 3 1 2 3 and make one double crochet into the same stitch one double crochet one double crochet uh, sorry two double crochets into the next double crochets and crochet one and two, two double crochets into the next simply make two double crochets into each and every double crochet at the end of this round you should end up with 30 double crochets slip stitch on into the third starting chain three chain 3 1 2 3 and make two double crochets into the next double crochet 1 and 2 one double crochet into the next two double crochets into the next 1 and 2 repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one double crochet into the next and two double crochet into the next we are going to make increasing in every second stitch all the way to the end at the end of this round you should end up with 45 double crochets slip stitch into the third chain chain 3 1 2 3 make one double crochet into the next Two double crochets into the next one and two 
one double crochet into next each two double crochets one and two and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat this small section we will make one double crochet into next two double crochets and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make an increase every third stage at the end of this round you should end up with 60 double crochets slip stitch on the top of our uh, starting chain 3 into third chain slip stitch make chain 3 1 2 3 make one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two two double crochets on the top of next double crochet one and two make one double crochet into next one two three stitches one two and three make two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat this small section we will make one double crochet into next one two three stitches and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make increase every fourth stitch at the end of this round you should end up with 75 double crochets slip stitch on the top of our chain starting chain three chain three one two three and make one double crochet into next three double crochets one and three two double crochets into the next one two one double crochet into next one two three four double crochets one two three four two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end make one double crochet into one two three four stitches and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make a, an increase every fifth stage one two three four and into the fifth one we are going to make two double crochets at the end of this round you should end up with 90 double crochets we are going to slip stitch on the top of our starting chain three like that and then i will make chain one and now we are going to work on the next part of the doily we are going to start these uh, from here to here but before that what we are going to do is we are going to make this little round it's very easy and simple to make for that what i am going to do is i'm going to drop this green color I'm going to drop green color and I will pick this um, color and what I will do is you can join it anywhere whenever you drop a color and pick the other color without cutting the yarn off it is always a good idea that you place a stitch marker into that so that it does not unravel as you work with the other color now join this color or any color into any of these um, stitches 
into any of the these stitches simply join it and then simply slip stitch into each and every stitch you are not going to do anything else simply slip stitch it into each and every stitch just uh, make sure that your stitches are not too tight slip stitch loosely into each and every stitch all the way to the end simple slip stitches this is the problem with the white color or off white color yarn that it doesn't show very well it reflects a lot in the video due to i don't know because of the light or whatever but we are just slip stitching in each and every stitch now slip stitch into the first stitch where we have joined our yarn like that and then cut the yarn <coughs> and secure the end and make a knot to secure it even more what we did here by slip stitching is that we have created this uh, texture of the chain stitch we have tried and to create this chain looking texture what we are going to do now is that we will pick our other color and in this round we are not going to work in these stitches we are going to work the stitches on the background these are the tops of uh, double crochets what we will do is we have already made chain one and then we will make a single crochet this is the top of the chain starting chain three where we have slip stitched we will make a single crochet into that one single crochet into one two three four double crochets one two three and four total one two three four five single crochets now what we will do is that we will skip next two stitches this one and this one and on the top of next one we are going to make a double crochet chain seven one two three four five six and seven and make a double crochet into the same stitch where we have already made a double crochet skip next two uh, two stitches and make one single crochet into next five stitches one two three four and five skip next two double uh, two stitches this one and this one and make a double crochet on the top of next one chain seven one two three four five six and seven and make a double crochet into the same stitch where we have made our first double crochet it's not easy to make stitches after you have chained but like that skip next two double crochets and repeat this pattern make one single crochet into next one two three four five uh, five stitches skip next two 
one double crochet into the next chain seven and one double crochet into the same skip next two stitches and repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double, uh, single crochet and if you made the same um, uh, double crochet as me in the first round and you did the same numbers of the increasing rounds like me then you should end up with nine of these um, salmon chain spaces so i have one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight and nine I have nine chain seven spaces you should also have nine if you did the same number of stitches and rounds like me one we are going to skip this single crochet we are going to skip this single crochet where we have slip stitch and what we are going to do is we are going to make one single crochet into next three stitches one two and three one two three single crochets skip last single crochet and we are going to work directly into this chain seven space we will make 14 double crochet into that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 and 14 we will count again so that there is no mistake 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 14 double crochets into this chain 7 space skip next single crochet and make one single crochet into next three single crochets one two and three and again make 14 double crochets into next chain seven space this is the pattern we are going to repeat 14 double crochet into this chain space skip first a single crochet make one single crochet into one two three single crochets and again 14 double crochets into this chain seven space all the way to the end slip stitch into the first single on the top of our first single crochet that we made at the start of this round then we will slip stitch into next two single crochet and also the first double crochet into first two single crochets and into the first double crochet of the set of these 14 double crochets and then we will slip stitch <coughs> i'm sorry uh, and then we will slip stitch into the next double crochet the second double crochet but we are going to slip stitch into back loop only by inserting the crochet hook from above and grab your yarn and slip stitch and now make one two three and four chains this four, starting four chain counts as our double crochet and chain one make one double crochet in back loop of next stitch chain 
chain one back, uh, double crochet in back loop of next stitch all of these stitches in this round are going to be made into back loops only chain one double crochet into next chain one into the next chain one in into the next we are going to repeat it until the la second last double crochet There are two double crochets left. I will make a, la, the last double crochet into the second last double crochet. Including this uh, starting chain, we, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve double crochets, and we should have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 chain spaces. Now what we will do is we will skip last double crochet. These three single crochet and first double crochet of the set of next 14 double crochets. And make back loop only double crochet into the next chain 1 and then we will repeat the pattern until the second last double crochet like that this is the pattern we are going to repeat by skipping first uh, sorry the last double crochet three single crochet and first double crochet we are going to skip these five stitches and then we will make back post double crochet chain one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven times and then one uh, double crochet into the last one we should have 12 double crochet and 11 chain 1 spaces repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch into the third chain and these are the start we made four chains at the start we are going to slip stitch into the third chain and then what we will do is that we will slip stitch into next chain next um, double crochet and into the next chain one space chain three one two three and make one double crochet on the top of next double crochet one double crochet into the next chain one space one double crochet into double crochet one double crochet into chain one space we are going to make total 17 double crochets in this section Simply making one double crochet on the top of double crochet and one double crochet into chain one space until we reach the second last chain one space.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. We skipped first uh, double crochet chain 1 and second double crochet and into the second chain we slip stitched and made chain 3 and we made a double crochet on the top of double crochet and into the chain 1 space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times plus this um, chain 3 which counts as our first double crochet so we have 17 double crochets here we are going to skip last two double crochets and this chain one space as well and into the next section we are going to skip first double crochet chain one and second double crochet and we will make a double crochet into second chain one space double crochet on the top of double crochet double crochet into the chain one space double crochet on the top of double crochet and chain one space we are going to repeat it until we reach the second last chain one space and we will make a double crochet into second last chain like that we started from the second chain one space and we finished it into second last chain one space and we have total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 plus 1 we have 17 double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end by now going directly into the second chain one space and working one double crochet into chain one space and on the top of double crochet until we reach second last chain one space our last double crochet will be made into second last uh, chain one space repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch into the uh, on the top of our starting chain and then slip stitch into next three double crochets one I ran out of yarn I had to start the second ball of the yarn so I will <coughs> slip stitch into next two stitches sorry three stitches this is starting chain three and after uh, slip stitching into chain 3 we are going to slip stitch into next 3 stitches and now I will make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 sorry the last uh, slip stitch which we are going to do is we are going to do in back loop only like that and then one, two, three, four, and five chains. This counts as our one treble crochet and chain one. Now wrap the yarn around your crochet hook twice. Make back loop treble crochet into next four stitches or five. One. Two. four and five in total we should have six 
treble crochets if we include this starting chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 all the stitches are made into back loops only what we do is <coughs> we will make chain 2 1 and 2 and make one more treble back loop treble crochet into same stitch chain 1 1 treble crochet divided by chain 1 in back loops of next 5 stitches 1 2 3 4 and 5 we started our round into uh, into the fourth double crochet we made chain 5 which was counted as our um, treble crochet plus chain 1 and then we made 1 2 3 4 5 treble crochet divided by chain ones in back loops only but here instead of chaining one we did chain two this is the central point of the of every section and then i made one treble crochet more into that chain one and then i made one two three four five treble crochets divided by chain one we are not going to chain one here uh, after we made our last treble crochet what we will do we will skip next six double crochets three double crochet from this section the last three double crochet from this section and first three double crochet from the next section make back loop treble crochet into the next chain one and repeat this five times one all of the stitches in this round are also made in back loops only two three four five and then the sixth one is going to be into the center now instead of making chain one we are going to make a chain two because this is going to be the center of our what you call it uh, section make one treble uh, crochet into the same stitch like that chain one and one treble crochet divided by chain one in next four stitches one two three and four And then one last treble crochet into the next double crochet. This is the pattern we are going to repeat. We will skip next six double crochets, back loop treble crochet into next and then chain one we will do that one two three four five and into the sixth one we will make one treble crochet divided by chain two and one treble crochet again again chain one and one treble crochet into the next we are going to repeat that one two three four five leaving the last three treble crochets unworked 
we are going to make all of these uh, treble crochets in back loops only and in the end uh, in the in each and every section you should end up with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 treble crochet and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, chain 1 spaces and this is the central one where we made two chains and this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end slip stitch into the fourth one two three fourth chain starting chain and then we will slip stitch into next chain but into the back loop only i will make chain one and i will make a single crochet into the back loop only into the chain into on the top of next treble stitch and I will repeat this pattern by making one single crochet into the back loop of the chain chain uh, and also in the back loop of treble crochet so I have made one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we started from this start, uh, chain and we made back loop single crochet into each and every chain and top of this uh, these uh, treble crochet so we ended up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 single crochets the 10th uh, single crochet will be made will be made on the top of our first uh, treble crochet uh, after that we made chain 2 what we will do is we will make a back loop single crochet into next chain one single crochet in into this gap one back loop single crochet into next chain and then we will make one back loop single crochet on the top of treble crochet and chain one into until we reach here so we should we had 10 single crochets on this side before this chain two space we should end up with 10 single crochet on this side as well so i will make one single crochet on the top of each and every treble crochet and one into this chain one into back loops only one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will skip next two stitches this one and this one and we will go directly into first available chain one space make one single crochet on the top of that one single crochet in back loop all the stitches are made in this um, round or back loop only this single crochet this one which is made where we made three single crochets into that chain two uh, space we made first single crochet into back loop of the chain and then we made one single crochet inside chain two 
and then the next single crochet into back loop as well uh, only this single crochet is made like that otherwise all the stitches are made in back loops only so second single crochet on the top of next treble crochet one two next is chain one space back loop only three four five six seven eight nine and ten again the tenth uh, single crochet will be made into the first treble crochet where we have made two treble crochets make one single crochet into the back loop of next chain one single crochet inside that chain through space one single crochet into back loop of next chain one one single crochet into the back loop of next treble and chain one ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will skip next two stitches and we will go directly into next available chain one and we will make back loop single crochet into chain one and uh, top of the treble crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tenth one will fall on the uh, first treble of the central treble crochet one single crochet into the back loop of first chain one single crochet inside the chain two space one single crochet into the neck um, next chain and then one single crochet into this uh, these uh, trebles and chain one space one two three four um, and five times the last one will be made into this chain one space uh, into the back loop of uh, the chains all the stitches are made into back loops except this central central single crochet slip stitch into the first single crochet and then we are going to cut the yarn and we are going to join the other yarn and next round is going to be the last round of our doily so we will join the other yarn you can join it anywhere into any of these uh, these stitches it is not going to be easy to see the stitches in this round because of the color of the yarn i don't know what's wrong it doesn't show very well but i will speak the pattern as well so that it's easy to follow even if you guys can't see it clearly here so join this uh, yarn into any of the second single crochet uh, how can i explain this is the first single crochet that we made into any of these section and this is the second single first and this is the second single crochet join from the top in back loop only join your yarn and now what you will do is very simple and very easy what you will do is that you will simply slip stitch into each and every stitch but we are going to slip stitch into back loop only like that don't make too tight stitches slip stitch into back loop loosely into each and every stitch until you reach the central single crochet you should have one two one two three four five six seven 
8 9 and into the tenth one this is the central stitch we are going to slip stitch and then we will make one two three chains and slip stitch again into the same stitch then I will make slip stitch into next remember that we are going to slip stitch in back loop only uh, in this round one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this was the last single crochet which was made in this section we are going to skip that and uh, we are going to skip the next one as well but for now we will make a, a kind of puff stitch into this space wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert into this space grab the yarn pull up a loop do it two more times total three times and you should have one two three you should have seven loops on your crochet hook one two three four five six and seven pull through all of those loops chain one and again skip the first single crochet this one uh, first starting single crochet of the next section ne next section skip that and this is the next single crochet slip stitch into back loop of that one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and eleven this is the central single crochet we are going to slip stitch into that and then we will make one two three chains slip stitch again into the same stitch make one slip stitch into all of next uh, single crochets and leave the last single crochet this is the last single crochet we made in this section skip that Keep next two stitches the first double uh, last double crochet of this section and first double crochet of next section and make kind of puff stitch here pulling up loop three times you have seven loops on your crochet hook pull through all of those and make chain one skip next double single crochet slip stitch into the back loop of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 single crochets and then one uh, slip stitch we are going to slip stitch if i explain it easily slip stitch into all of these stitches in back loop only and into the central single crochet which is this one we are going to slip stitch chain 3 slip stitch again again slip stitch into back loop all of these stitches leaving the last single crochet unworked and make a puff stitch here and skip the first single crochet from the next round simply make one slip stitch into all the single crochets and uh, one slip stitch chain three one slip stitch into the central one and one slip stitch into all of these single crochet just skip the first the last single crochet of this section and first single crochet of the next section 
repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round <coughs> sorry I forgot to make this half stitch and there is just one thing that I wanted to clear I wanted to clarify that between this uh, puff stitch and this uh, chain 3 there should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slip stitches and there should be 10 slip stitches from here to here as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there should be 10 stitches between this uh, uh, central uh, stitch I will call it until the puff stitch and 10 slip stitches from the puff stitch to the top there should be 10 slip stitches and then one puff stitch and then 10 slip stitches again and then this top uh, stitch what we are going to do is we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch and then I will cut the yarn and what we will do is that we are going to make a knot here to secure it and then I will weave these ends later on to finish it so now our beanie is done it's complete now the only thing is these uh, uh, this yarn is reflecting a lot in the light but otherwise it's done I tried my best again once again to explain each and everything the details if there is anything that is missing or confusing uh, please let me know and I will try my level best to help you guys thank you so much for watching and peace be upon you all